Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and this is going to be another Game Maker tutorial. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention real quick, because I am taking requests for tutorials. If you want to um, send me something that you would like to learn about, send it to my email address, and that is heartbeast.studios at gmail.com. So you can just send it there, and I will get that, and I'll do my best to make a tutorial for you. So today we're going to be making a top view space scroller game kind of like alien invaders or whatever those old games were called centipede or whatever so it's going to be similar to those first thing we're going to do is create a sprite and we'll name this sprite uh, player or ship let's do ship just to be different today name this sprite ship and we're going to come into this sprite and we're going to actually whoa what am I doing okay we're going to change the size of the sprite so it's only 16 by 16 and I'm going to make this whole game black and white just for kicks so let's grab white and we're going to draw a ship you'll want to drag this up to 7 and then drag this down to here dang it let's start right here come up there we go and fill this in. You got your ship now, and we're going to make that transparent, and we're going to center the image. Okay, cool. Now we're going to create another one. Actually, just duplicate this sprite. We'll name this sprite alien. And let's come in here and make an alien. Okay, I'm going to grab the box and I'm going to make kind of a box looking thing. and we're gonna get rid of this and that's kinda cool let's do this that looks pretty alienish right let's give it some evil looking eyes let's see you can do these however you want them make them look like whatever. I'm just kind of doing some random looking ones, but I think this will look cool. Okay, it looks kind of like a Metroid or something. I don't know. I actually uh, didn't go far enough over with this, so that made it look weird. Okay, there we go. We're gonna, oh, it's already centered. Awesome. Now we're going to create an object. This is going to be our object ship. And we'll give it the ship sprite and we're going to add an event and this is going to be a step event now what this event is going to do is it's going to make the I drag over a code it's going to make the ship follow the mouse so when you move the mouse the ship is going to follow it but we only want it to follow it in the horizontal direction so it won't be able to move like up and down on our thing it'll just move horizontally on it so we're going to do the ships x equals mouse underscore x. So all that does is it sets the ship's x to the mouse x position. And we're going to create a room. And let's go over. Backgrounds, we'll make the background of this room black. Just to fit with the style. And go back over here to settings. And we're going to make this room quite a bit smaller than normal. In fact, it's... Well, we'll leave the height 480 and we'll make this 360 and see let's put our object in and see how small it's going to be. It's going to look pretty small but whatever it's cool and let's uh, run the game okay as you can see the ship follows the mouse horizontally but we don't have any enemies and we can't shoot so one other thing we need to do is create a sprite for our lasers so sprite bullet let's edit this we're going to make this one really small and make it 8 by 8. And we'll zoom in on it. And make it look like a laser. Just lined. That's good. We'll center that as well. Now we're going to create an object. Object bullet. And we'll assign it to that sprite. Add event. Um, yeah, let's do a let's do a step event. Step event. 
and drag over the code. Okay, so there's a couple things we want to do with this laser. First thing we want to do is we want it to move up. So y minus equals, mm, let's go with, let's go with 15. Actually, I lied. Let's go with, uh, let's go with pen. We'll see what that looks like. We can mess around with it later. Oh yeah, one more thing we want to do as well is um, if y is less than or equal to uh, negative 16, instance destroy. So what do these two codes do? This moves. In fact, uh, let's comment this because you guys want to get in the habit of commenting stuff. Move the bullet up and check to see if the bullet has left the screen. If so, destroy it. Yeah, because we don't want our bullets to uh, keep going off the screen for forever. That'll lag your game. So, let's uh, Let's make it so we can shoot now. We're going to add event, mouse, um, global mouse, global left pressed. So that, uh, the difference between a global mouse button and a normal mouse button is a normal mouse button, you actually have to click on the object. Where a global mouse button, you can click anywhere in the screen and it'll still do this. So, we're going to create our bullet. Create a bullet object. Okay, we'll put some comments in there. Now let's do instance create x, y, and I'm going to do minus 16 on the y position. Why am I doing that? Because we want this to be relative to where the player is, but we want it to be up a little bit so it looks like it's coming from the top of the ship. And I just made all these hand gestures that you for sure can't see. <laughs> Just imagine the hand gestures that I need. No, never mind. Okay. Let's go. And let's try let's try and shoot this. See what happens. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Sweet! So we can shoot lasers now. That looks like a pretty good speed for some sort of a side uh, top scroller type game. Now what we want to do is create an our enemy object. Object uh, alien. And we'll give it this sprite. And we want this to be moving downwards constantly. So we'll give it a step event, some code. And we're going to move it down towards the player. Y plus equals, let's go with uh, 8. No, seven. No, six. <laughs> okay. We'll just go with that. And, oh yeah, we got to check. Check to see if the want to destroy the alien if it's left the screen as well. So we're going to do if y is greater than or equal to room uh, height, so we can grab the room height no matter what the room height is, we'll know, plus 16, so we're just going to add a little bit of extra there so they don't delete right when they hit the bottom of the screen. Um, instance destroy. Awesome! So, uh, let's put an enemy in our room. Put a couple in and see what happens. Okay, you can see the enemies come down, but our bullets don't hit them and they we can just go right through them as well. So we want to add some collisions into this game. So let's add a collision with our bullet. Um, let's do collision with the alien. And there's two things we want to do in a collision. We want to destroy the alien and we want to destroy ourselves. So, we're going to do...
destroy alien with other instance destroy. Now I know it may seem like a pain to add comments into your code all the time, but it's really important for yourself. Trust me, a month from now if you come back you're like, oh I want to work on that alien game I was building again. You're not going to understand your code. Well, you may, but it's always safe to put in comments. It's the best way to do it, trust me. Also, if you ever get a job programming, you're going to have to put in comments because you're not going to be the only one working on the code. So other people need to know what the heck you're doing. So, destroy this bullet. Instance. Plus, I'm going to do it because it's going to help you guys, right? It'll be easier for you guys to understand. So we're just accessing the other object that's in this collision. What's the other object? The alien, and we're going to destroy it. And then we're going to just destroy ourselves right after. And let's do one more collision. In our player, we'll do collision with the alien. Let's drag over a code. And um, game end. So for now, it's just going to end the game. Oh, one other thing we can do real fast is uh, when we collide with the alien, we can actually set the score up. Add to the score. And we won't do a high score system in this, but it will show the score. Score plus equals 1. That way you guys can start learning about how the score will work. It'll show the score at the top of the screen, but there won't be any sort of a high score system. So let's work. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, you can see we can destroy them, and look, my score went up, but the enemies just go off the screen and they never come again. So we want to fix that because we want to have enemies coming for forever, right? So, because that's the whole point of these type of games, is you just go till you die. We'll call this object uh, alien creator. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a create event. And inside this create event, we're going to give it an we're going to set an alarm. Alarm 0 <coughs> equals let's do 15 plus random six, uh, 45. We'll do that. So, what an alarm does is an alarm is just like a, an alarm that you set when you need to wake up in the morning. So, this is just going to set an alarm, and then something's going to happen. Hopefully it's not an annoying buzzing noise, but something's going to happen when that alarm fires. So, you, we create that alarm zero, and now we get to do what happens after that alarm has gone off. Two, three, four, yeah, four. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an, ob we're going to create an enemy. Instance, create, and we're going to do it at a random room width position so that it creates the enemy randomly in the X position so it won't it'll it'll always be in a random position um, horizontally and then we're gonna do negative 16 for our Y position because we want it to create it off the screen just off the screen where we can't see it up at the top that way uh, it looks like the enemies have been coming for a long time but really we just created them right at the top of the screen where you can't see them and we're going to do object alien and oh so what this will do is this will only create one enemy so what do we want to do we want to copy whoa I didn't know you could do that okay command V you want to copy the the alarm back in here so that when this alarm fires it actually resets itself and happens again and this timing right here is actually every half second to every two seconds so that's how fast the enemies will be created. That should be pretty good. Uh, we want to put this object in the room. And we're going to delete our enemies as well. Just right click on them to delete them. And now when we run the game, we should have an infinite supply of enemies to build our score up for forever. And you can see they're coming on. We can shoot them to build our score up. And they come for forever. You can mess with those speeds if you want to make enemies come faster. Um, one thing you can do is you can say that if your score is higher, then the enemies start to come faster, so you can put kind of a learning curve in there. And let's see what happens when you die. Yep, the game ends. So, awesome! This is the start to uh, your first space top scroller. Um, you can create more enemy objects, ones that uh, maybe have health, 
that you can't kill in one shot, or maybe they move faster, or maybe they move from side to side. You can do whatever you want that way. Um, but this is your first one, so thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure and like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you're one of those people that watches all of my tutorials but you still haven't subscribed, it'd sure help me out if you subscribed. Follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. I'll put those links in the description, and I'll see you guys later.